సెవెన్ ఫిబ్రవరి టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ మార్నింగ్ మురళి ఓం శాంతి బాబ్ దాద మధుబన్ ఎసెన్స్ స్వీట్ చిల్డ్రన్ సోల్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ మేక్స్ యూ ఇన్ టు ద మాస్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ వేరస్ బాడీ కాన్షియస్నెస్ మేక్స్ యూ పవర్టీ స్ట్రికెన్ దే ఫోర్ మే యూ బీ సోల్ కాన్షియస్ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ హెల్ప్స్ యూ ఎ లాట్ టు బికమ్ బాడీ లెస్ ఆన్సర్ constantly consider yourselves to be actors just as an actor takes off his costume as soon as his part is over in the same way you children also have to practice this as soon as you finish performing your acts take off your costumes bodies and become bodiless continue to practice being brother souls this is an easy way to become pure by looking at the bodies there are criminal thoughts therefore may you be bodiless om shanti the father sits here and explains to you children because you have become very senseless this was also explained to you 5000 years ago and you were also taught how to perform divine acts baba is amazed that very good children cross out the line of their fortune because they don't fully understand the defects of ravan cling to them and they themselves speak of divine virtues ravan is the greatest enemy and has made bharat poverty stricken and tamo pradhan there is the difference of day and night between body consciousness and soul consciousness soul conscious deities become the masters of the whole world by becoming body conscious they have become poverty stricken shiv baba comes to make your intellects divine in the golden age deeds are neutral there is no account of karma there the devilish community will defame and create obstacles because they have the five vices in them the deities are completely viceless they have a high status the divine directions that you are now receiving continue for half a cycle you are the mouth born creation of brahma and you then become part of the clan of vishnu and then the moon dynasty those two are called dynasties whereas it is said the brahmin clan this cannot be called a dynasty as there is no kingdom here the evil spirit of lust causes sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end you have to make a lot of effort here this is not like going to your auntie's home the father continues to tell you if you consider yourselves to be brothers and sisters there cannot be criminal vision courage is needed for everything you children are becoming multi million times fortunate all of this is going to be destroyed everything is going to turn to dust some continue to move along with very good courage some have courage and then fail the father continues to explain every situation to you however if you don't do anything it is understood that you don't have full yoga the ancient raj yoga of bharat is very well known it is only by having this yoga that you become the masters of the world this study is your source of income it is by studying this that you claim a high status number wise even in the relationship of brother and sister the intellects of some cause mischief this is why the father takes you even higher than that consider yourselves to be souls also consider others to be brother souls if we are all brothers there cannot be any other vision when you look at a body there are criminal thoughts those brahmins are vicious whereas you brahmins are wiseless while becoming wiseless you have to tolerate many assaults in the golden age all are in salvation and this is why they don't need to make any effort here everyone is making effort for liberation and salvation 
because they are in degradation. Deities reside in the golden and silver ages. Here, it is mostly the vice of lust that people are trapped in. They cannot stay without the vice of lust. Those who have the powers of knowledge and yoga in them attract others. Those who are well educated receive very good respect. The contrast between Shiva and Shankar is absolutely clear. The kingdom of Rama exists in the golden age. Gandhiji wanted the kingdom of Rama, but how could he establish the kingdom of Rama? He did not give teachings for anyone to become soul conscious. Only the father says at the confluence age, May you be soul conscious. This is the age for becoming elevated. The father continues to explain to you with so much love. You should repeatedly remember the father with so much love. Baba, it is your wonder. We had such stone intellects and you are now making us so elevated. We will only follow your directions. We will not follow the directions of anyone else. At the end, everyone will say the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris are following divine directions. Baba tells you such good things. He gives you the introduction of the beginning, the middle and the end and also reforms your character. Essence for Dharna First point In order to make your vision pure and clean, do not look at the name and form of anyone. Practice becoming bodiless. Consider yourselves to be a soul and speak to your brother soul. Second point, in order to receive respect from everyone, imbibe the powers of knowledge and yoga. Become full of divine virtues. Do service by improving your character. Blessing May you be soul conscious and instead of being illness conscious, settle your karmic accounts in happiness. May you be soul conscious and instead of being illness conscious, settle your karmic accounts in happiness. Explanation of blessing Everyone's body is now old and so each one has one or another small or big illness. However, if your body affects your mind, you would be doubly ill and become illness conscious. Therefore, do not let your mind have any thoughts of illness and you will then be called soul conscious. Never be afraid of any illness. Just take a little fruit in the form of medicine and bid farewell to the illness. Settle your karmic accounts in happiness. Slogan To experience every virtue and power means to be an embodiment of experience. Slogan To experience every virtue and power means to be an embodiment of experience. Thank you.